it all began in Bikini Bottom. Sandy, SpongeBob, and the rest of the city was having a good day when something strange occurred. A large machinery finds its way to the city. The residents on noticing, panicked, and sought refuge in the Krusty Krabs. The caterpillar dug out the bikini bottom and took it out of the ocean excluding Sandy and SpongeBob who were able to evade the machinery. With the bikini bottom and their friends gone, SpongeBob and Sandy then had to solve an equation to get them out of the ocean to save their friends. Welcome to its mythical, we are recapping the animation titled Sandy Cheeks, Saving Bikini Bottom. Their equation led them to a volcano which happens to gush out water as SpongeBob and Sandy used it as a joyride out of the ocean. They tried to crash land on the location in Texas where the Bikini Bottom was taken to, but a sandstorm drifted them far away. At the laboratory, the Bikini Bottom was placed in a giant water bubble. The residents of the city were in distress and refused to leave the Krusty Krabs. Mr. Krabs summoned courage and went a check but as he saw a human poking at him, it scared the life out of him as he ran back to his restaurant. SpongeBob and Sandy having drifted far away from their location were making their way back through the desert when they got ambushed by three rattlesnakes. They were attacked by the snakes and Sandy got bitten. Sandy was inflated and was losing consciousness as she whistled to her family in Texas and they came right on time and was able to save them. It was a warm reunion as her mother deflated her and took her and SpongeBob on a ride. Back at the laboratory, Tsunami, the leading scientist was mad to find out that SpongeBob and Sandy were missing as she needs them to complete her plan to clone them for profit. SpongeBob and Sandy were still on the ride as one of Sandy's relatives took the chance to teach SpongeBob how to whistle like a squirrel. Just then, Texas police shows up. In an attempt to evade the police, her family launches both Sandy and SpongeBob out of the vehicle to their location. On getting to the location, Sandy scanned the area for the laboratory when they were attacked by Sue Nami's dog. In an attempt to escape, they found the laboratory and made their way in, through a sewage nearby. They followed the drainage pipe and arrived at the laboratory. They reunited with the residents of the Bikini Bottom. But the reunion was cut short by the presence of Tsunami as SpongeBob was caught and Sandy was placed in a cage. Sandy was familiar with Tsunami as she is a resident in Texas. Tsunami revealed her cyborg form to Sandy and also told her how she stole her research and used it to create the machines for her plants. SpongeBob was placed in the machine as it splits in thousands of multiple SpongeBob. One of the SpongeBob made his way to Sandy's cage and was able to motivate a sad Sandy as she spins her way out of the cage and was able to decapitate Tsunami. As a result of the altercation a hole was punctured in the glass containing the city and it started leaking. Sandy in an attempt to move the city back to the ocean on time, tried to whistle to her family but she lost her voice. SpongeBob, having merged back together, was able to whistle like he was thought and signaled Sandy's family as they were able to arrive just in time and save Bikini Bottom by placing it back in the ocean. Sandy and friends celebrated and that was how the movie ended. Please like, share and subscribe to its mythical for more mind-blowing recaps like this. Thanks for watching.